Hey, my friends, welcome to another class. Bienvenidos a otra clase. Today we're going to study the personal pronouns and the verb be. The personal pronouns and the verb be. Vamos a estudiar los pronombres personales y el verbo be. Okay, so these are the personal pronouns. Estos son los eh, pronombres personales. The first one is I, I, yo, I. Okay, I. You is you. Tú, you. She is for women. Para las mujeres. Ella. She. She. He is for men. Es para los hombres. El, el. It is for inanimate things. Es para cosas inanimadas. Como un perro, como una libreta, como un televisor. It's it. Okay? It. We is you and me. Y we, we is usted y yo. Nosotros. We. Okay? You. Okay. This you... It's only one, you. This you is two or more. Dos o más. En otras palabras, esto es para usted y esto es ustedes. You, one person, singular, and two is two people or more. Okay? Next one is they. Who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? They. They is she, he, and it. Is they, okay? Son ellos, okay? So, do you understand? Entienden? Necesitan que lo repita? Okay. I, yo. I is me, yo. You is you, okay? She is ella. He is él. It is eso, esa. Okay? We is nosotros, you and me. You, you. Plural, plural, ustedes. And they is ellos. Pretty easy. Okay? Here we have singular ones. And here we have The plural, okay? Singular and plural, okay? You understand? Very good. So, let's see now the verb be. Veamos ahora el verbo be. Okay? Now, the verb be is a little difficult sometimes, okay? The verb be is difficult in any language. El verbo be es difícil en cualquier idioma. Okay? So, here... For I is, and by the way, the verb be is a verbo cero estar in, in, in Spanish, in español, okay? Para que entiendan. So, in este caso sería yo soy, o yo estoy. I am is yo estoy, or yo soy. For you is are. Okay? Don't forget that this is the uh, simple present. Este es el presente simple. Estamos hablando en presente. Ya cuando hablamos en el pasado, cambia la forma. Es un poco más difícil. Pero también lo vamos a ver. No se preocupe. Okay? Por ahora vamos a ver solamente el presente simple. Okay? You are. She is. Ella es. O ella está. Recuerden que es el verbo ser o estar. En inglés solamente es is. Es am, are, is. ¿Ok? In the case of he, is is to. ¿Ok? In the case of it, is is. ¿Qué notan ustedes en la pizarra? ¿Se dan cuenta que estos tres tienen algo en común? Don't you see that they have something in common? And is the verb is the same. El verbo be es el mismo. Okay, so for she, he, and it is is. Okay, it's the same, el lo mismo. Okay, for we is are. For you is are too. And for they is are. Como ustedes pueden ver, 
los plurales, los plurales, tienen la misma forma de verbo be en inglés. R, R, R. Ok? So, it's a little easy to remember. So, we have the plurals here. They have the same verb be. And also, you, in singular, it has the same the same verb okay same combination okay now i'm gonna give you a little trick les voy a dar un truquito para que aprendan y, y se acuerden siempre del verbo be en el presente so for you to remember the verb be in present okay i want you to pronounce this quiero que pronuncien esto does it sound familiar les parece familiar Aramis, Aramis, right? Es el nombre Aramis en español. Aramis, okay? R M is Aramis, okay? So if you remember Aramis, you will always remember the verb be. Si recuerdan Aramis, siempre van a recordar el verbo be. Quizás tengan en la familia alguien que se llama Aramis. Mi esposa tiene un primo que se llama Aramis. A lo mejor, usted, a lo mejor ustedes también, okay? So remember this, and then you're gonna have no difficulty to learn this okay so let me put Aramis here let me delete it I mean erase it here let me erase it here and put it here R M is okay Aramis don't forget Aramis okay now let's make a sentence vamos a hacer una oración okay so I am I am what okay I am your teacher. Okay? I am. No. No. No quiero complicarlo con los pronombres, pero son los pronombres eh, posesivos ahora. Okay? So I am a teacher. Okay? I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Yo soy profesor en mi profesión. Siempre que ustedes utilicen las profesiones en inglés, tienen que poner esta letrica. Okay? I am a teacher. You are. If I am a teacher, what are you? Si yo soy profesor, ¿qué tú eres? Right, student. Okay? A student, so you are. A student. I am a teacher. Yo soy profesor. You are a student. Tú eres estudiante. Ok. How about she? Y ella. ¿Qué es? What is she? She is. What is the person that. When I'm sick. The person that helps me. ¿Cuál es la persona que me ayuda cuando estoy enfermo? A doctor. Very good. So she is. A doctor. Understand? Now, I am a teacher. You are a student. She's a doctor. What is he? I think that he is... He is... Let's say... A plumber. Un plomero. She is, I'm sorry, he is a plumber, okay? She's a doctor and he's a plumber, a plumber, okay? It is, okay. Think about something that is not a person. Piensen algo que, una, que no es una persona. Un gato, un perro, a dog, a cat, okay? A cat, a dog. So, it is what? A cat. It is a cat. But the cat is crazy. The cat is crazy. Okay? So we can say... This is the cat. Este el gato. It is crazy. So we can say, the cat is crazy. It is crazy. It's the same thing. Lo mismo. Okay? It is the cat. We are... Okay, we are 
Are we animals? Somos animales? Yes, but we are people, right? We are people. Somos personas. We are people. Okay? We are people. You are, refiriéndose a, la, a ustedes, you are, well, I'm sure that I don't have only one student, I have more. Yo estoy seguro que no tengo un solo estudiante, tengo más. Okay, entonces todos ustedes son mis estudiantes, so you are students, okay? You are students. You are students. And they are compañeros de aula. They are classmates. Okay. ¿Se pueden fijar en algo? Los singulares tienen la letra A. Okay. Y los plurales no tienen nada. Ok, esa es una conclusión que podemos llegar. Es que cuando hay plurales, no se usa la letra A porque la letra A significa one. And what is one? Remember when we studied the numbers? Recuerden cuando estudiamos los números? One is one. Ok, so if it is plural, it's not one, it's more than one. Si es plural, no es uno, es más de uno. Ok, so that's why in the plurals we don't use A. A is only for the singulars. En el programa nunca usamos A, solamente para los singulares. Ok? Now, let's see the last part of this class. What if I want to ask a question? This is a sentence, ok? Esto es una, esto es una oración. ¿Qué pasaría si queremos hacer una pregunta en inglés? Ok? It's very simple. Very simple. What you have to do is just switch. You have to switch. The verb be and the uh, a pronoun. Lo que tienen que hacer es cambiar la posición de ver, verbo be con el, la, el pronombre personal. Ok? So, in that case, it would be like this. Am I a teacher? Yo soy profesor. Es una pregunta. Am I a teacher? Ok. Y como estamos respondiendo, preguntando con el verbo be, tenemos que responder con el verbo be. We are asking with the verb be, so we have to answer with the verb be. Ok. So, am I a teacher? Yes. So the answer is, yes, I am. Yo soy profesor. Por tanto, la respuesta es, sí lo soy. Yes, I am. Ok, yes I am. Here it would be Are you a student? Are you a student? Yes you are. Ok, yes you are. Okay. Muy importante en inglés, cuando la respuesta es positiva, no se usa contracciones. Okay. No se usa contracciones. Pero no, no queremos hablar de las contracciones ahora porque eso es un poquito más avanzado. Okay. Solamente por ahora vamos a ver esto. Okay. So, the, the question here is... Is she a daughter? Is she a daughter? Pensemos que la respuesta es negativa. Let's, let's just think that the, the, the answer is negative, okay? Okay? So it would be no, she isn't, okay? No, she isn't. Pueden notar que en la respuesta negativa sí hay contracción, okay? En la positiva donde no se usa, okay? Now, hay varias formas de decir esto. No tiene que ser isn't. It could be no, she isn't. It could be. ¿Me permiten borrar Aramis? Sí. Yes. Thank you. Puede ser. 
is not. No, she is not. O puede ser. No, she is not. Ok, tenemos tres formas. La contracción negativa aquí, la negative contraction. Tenemos no, without contraction, sin contracción. Tenemos la contracción del verbo be con she. She is, she is not. Ok. I think it, sin contraction is important. Ok. Es importante. Es un poco avanzado, pero siempre es importante verlo. No me gustaría eh, complicarlos con las contracciones ahora, pero siempre es importante verlo. Ok. So, how about this one? Is he a plumber? Is he a plumber? Okay, give me an answer. Is he a plumber? Yes or no? What's your answer? I'm going to ask my wife. Yes or no? No. No? Okay. No. He isn't, is not. Ok, no, he's not. Let's use a contraction. Vamos a usar una contracción, ok? Es, es opción suya, it's up to you. You can choose what, whatever you want, ok? Ustedes pueden usar lo que quieran. No, no es nada obligatorio. Tenemos tres opciones y usted puede usar la que quiera, ok? Solamente hay que decir la respuesta y decir si es o no, ok? Ok? Let's say this one. Siempre cambiando el verbo para principio, ok? Is it crazy? Is the cat crazy? Is the dog crazy? Okay, maybe. I don't have a cat. I don't have a dog. But um, I know a friend, a friend that has a dog, and the dog is crazy. You don't want una amistad que tiene un perro y el perro está loco. Okay, so is it crazy? Está loco? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay? Yes, it is. The other one is... Are we people? Of course we're people. Okay? We're people. So the answer is, yes, we are. Okay, yes we are. The other one is Are you students? I have a question for you. Are you students? Yes? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes you are. Yes you are. Okay, don't forget, no contraction in positive answers. No hay contracción en las oraciones positivas, okay? And the last one, last but not least. El último, pero no el menos importante, okay? Are they classmates? Are they classmates? Son ellos compañeros de aula. Are they classmates? Yes or no? Just give me an answer. I don't hear you. I cannot hear you. Speak louder. Hablo un poquito más alto. I'm going to give an answer because you're not giving an answer, okay? So, no. They aren't, okay? They aren't, okay? So, this is the negative form of the verb be for the plural and for are, for, for you in the singular, aren't, okay? So let me give you this. Am doesn't have a negative contraction. Am no tiene contracción negativa. Is, la contracción negativa is, isn't, okay? Es muy común usar la contracción en inglés, muy común. 
¿Ok? Las personas la usan constantemente. Ahora, ¿tiene que usted usarla? No, usted usa lo que quiera. La contracción es solamente para hablar menos. ¿Ok? Habla mucho menos y habla más rápido. ¿Ok? Isn't. And then for are, is aren't. ¿Ok? So, this one can be used for is not, is not, and then are not. ¿Ok? So, this is what it is in English. M, for M is not, I'm not, for is, is isn't, or is not, M for are, is aren't, or are not. ¿Ok? So, I hope that you have learned something today. Now, how about some practice? ¿Qué les parece si hacemos una práctica ahora? Okay, ¿entendieron bien todo esto? Well, if you didn't understand, you can go over the video again and just review what we saw in class before. Okay? Si quieren eh, recordar lo que han visto hasta ahora, pueden volver de nuevo a, a ver el video y así entenderán el verbo be. Okay? Pero esta es la forma de preguntar en inglés, también de decir eh, oraciones, hacer oraciones con el verbo be. In, in, in English, okay, in English. So I hope you learned something today. I, I'm sure you learned something, something today. So we're gonna practice now. Are you ready for it? Okay, let's go. Let's go with me. Hey, it's time for us to practice the verb be. Bueno, es hora que practiquemos el verbo be. Bueno, la primera oración que tenemos aquí es I, a student, what do you think that we should put here? ¿Qué ustedes creen que deberíamos poner aquí? I'm going to give you a few seconds for you to answer this question. Ok. And the answer is... M. Very good. I am student. I am a student. Very good. So, what do you think that we should put here? What do you think we should put here? ¿Qué ustedes creen que deberíamos poner aquí? Are correct. Very good. Correct. You are a student. Very good. How about this one? She a student. Is very good. She is a student. Very good. Good student. You're improving your English. You're learning. That's good. How about number four? He, a student. He is a student. Very good. Very good. How about this one? Number five. It fast. It is fast. Very good. Very good. How about the next one? We students. Are correct. Very good. How about you? The next one. You students. You are students. Very good. Very good. How about the last one? They students. They are students. Very good student. You're good. You're good. You see here? R M is. Remember R M is? R M is. Remember? R M is. R M is. You see? These three guys, they have the same form of the verb be, is, is, is. And then the plurals, they have are, are, are. So, let's do the questions now. Vamos a las preguntas ahora. Las preguntas. Okay. So, how do you think that we can ask a question from this sentence? ¿Cómo ustedes creen que podríamos hacer una pregunta con esta oración? Am I a student? Very good. Don't forget that we have to switch the places of the pronoun and the verb be. No olviden que tenemos que cambiar la posición del pronombre y el verbo be. 
¿Ok? Eso fue lo que hicimos aquí. ¿Am I a student? ¿Soy yo un estudiante? Ok, what do you think about this one? Are you a student? Very good. So, do you remember how we answer this question? ¿Recuerdan ustedes cómo contestamos esta pregunta? Yes, I am. Very good. Am I a student? Yes, I am. Or, no, I am not. Okay? Are you a student? If it is yes, yes, you are. If it is no, no, you aren't. Remember in the class? Recuerda lo que vimos en la clase? Okay. How about this question? This, this sentence. ¿Qué les parece esta, esta oración ahora? Is he a student? Ustedes ven cómo cambiamos el verbo be para primer lugar y el pronombre para el, seg el, pronombre para el segundo lugar. Pues así como se hace en inglés. How about this one? He's a student. Is he a student? Is he a student? Yes, he is. Is she a student? Yes, she is. Or, no, she is not. Or, no, she isn't. How about this one? It is fast. Is it fast? Is it fast? Is it rápido? Is it fast? The answer is yes, it is. Or, no, it isn't. Okay? Si tienen alguna duda de cómo responder las preguntas, pueden fácilmente regresar en el, en el, en el video y ver la parte en que expliqué eh, las respuestas, las posibles po respuestas negativas. Ok. So here we have, we're, here we have, we are students. Aquí tenemos, somos estudiantes. What do you think is the, end, the question here? ¿Cuál, cuál usted cree que es, que es la respuesta, la pregunta que se puede hacer aquí? Are we students? And then the answer is, yes, we are, or no, we aren't. Okay? okay? Are we students? Es la pregunta, y la respuesta sería, yes, we are, or, or, no, we aren't. How about the next one? How about this one? Are you students? Are you students? Yes, you are, or no, you aren't. Y la última sería, the last one, Are they students? Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Como ustedes pueden ver, el verbo be en el, sim en el presente simple no es difícil. Solamente lo que tienen que hacer es memorizar las diferentes formas en que el verbo conjuga para las diferentes eh, personas del singular y las del plural. Pero si, si se acuerdan de lo, del, del truquito que les di, de Aramis, el truquito del nombre Aramis, yo creo que no van a tener problema ninguno en el futuro para poder entender esto. So if you remember the little trick that I gave you about the Aramis name, Aramis, I think I can guarantee you, you will never forget the verb be in the simple present. Okay? So I hope to see you soon again. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we're going to continue practicing and learning more. Okay? So, I hope you have a great day. And then we will be able to learn more in the future. Okay? Bye-bye. God bless you. Hey, welcome back. How was your practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Good, very good. So, congratulations again. Because you are improving and learning English. Okay? Very good. So, very important. Very important. Don't forget to leave your comments. No, no, muy importante. No olviden dejar sus comentarios en el video. Para así mejorar, dar mejor clases y poder enseñarles más inglés. Okay? Because you deserve it. Ustedes se lo merecen. Okay? So, I hope to see you again in the next class. Okay? Good. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.